Hi guys. <coughs> Mucus. Fun. Hi guys. So today I thought I'd do a funny kind of video. This is something I feel like a lot of people probably will find cathartic. Is that the word? Maybe not. These are things that are really cringy that I used to do. I feel like when I was younger, I went through a stage where I was embarrassed by a lot. And I was kind of like, if anyone found out that I did these things, that would be the end of me. Kind of like the age where I was keeping a lot of diaries, and then right when I was done with that, I like got rid of them all. But now I wish I could go back and look at that and realize, oh my god, I thought all this stuff was the end of the world. So these are things I kind of did right in my awkward stage, I want to say. Like, this is my like awkward prime. <laughs> it's so funny, and I feel like a lot of people might have done these things. So let's see. First thing, when I look back at old pictures of myself, it makes me like cringe deep inside inside my soul and that was shaving right here. It's one thing like now I can use my little like actual facial hair shaver that you're supposed to use here and like here and stuff but I would take like my leg razor and go whoosh, just to get rid of that part because I was obviously a unibrow kid like most of us and my sister used to make fun of me for my unibrow so I literally took a full leg razor which is like pretty darn thick and literally shaved right here so my eyebrows didn't start to like in there way too way too far in i can post it. i can put like, a picture here it was bad really really bad i wish i knew better i wish that there was youtube back then because now kids that are that age like, there's no more awkward stage kids go right from no makeup to like whoosh, like angled brows angled brows angled brows yeah so there's that along the same lines was over plucking there was like none of this I had here. It was not a stage where you were filling in your brows, it was a stage where you did everything you can to get rid of them. I mean my brows were like, they look like a little sperm just being straight up honest right now. Um, because they look like a little round bit right here and then like a straight line. It was so bad and this is a lot of my generation probably did this. Not a good look. <laughs> Another thing that's probably, I mean I feel like this was actually kind of fashionable at the time but when you look back it's so cringy and that's when the four leggings were like pants which I still don't think it is like you like wear them on their own sure but wear a shirt long enough to cover like your vag area because they're not actually pants they look like tights that's just my opinion but before that leggings were <laughs> for underneath jean skirts I wish I had a picture of this outfit oh my god I can like I can picture myself wearing it at school in a specific hallway and everything where you'd wear a jean skirt from Abercrombie with brown Abercrombie leggings. Brown because you know Abercrombie didn't sell anything in black and then Uggs. Like that was the look and I'm sure it's like honestly for some of us like that was fashion. Now it's like so terrible to even look at. Oh another one was wearing full on um, black eyeliner but not in the waterline fully on the top or the bottom. It was like a like black pencil liner on the upper lash line, on the lower lash line, but you could see all the white of your inner waterline. And then really crappy, like clumpy mascara and no eyeshadow and being as pale as I am now. And it wasn't even trying to be goth or emo. It was, oh, I'm wearing eyeliner because like it's eyeliner. It was so bad. Like, I don't think I made pictures of this because I didn't do it too often just because I have blue eyes and I always know it looked weird on me. But, like, even the fact that I did it once, ugh, that was enough. Oh, another thing, my entire high school career practically, like, full four years was scrunching my hair. And that's, like, straight up Jersey Shore poof with the scrunched hair, which probably, honestly, I don't even think it was that bad for it because I didn't put heat on it. I'd go to bed with my wet hair in a bun and then let it down in the morning and scrunch it and it was crispy. I used the, uh, my favorite scrunching mousse was the Tresemme curling mousse and I used so much of it, like a thick, full on dollop that was all over my floor. Just go like this and scrunch all over, all over. It did last quite long and I honestly, like I, like, I got a lot of compliments. People always liked it, which is really weird. Even in college, I was doing that for a good old time. It was like if you took a curly piece that was scrunched, like, bent day with a crack. <laughs> like, it was, it was not a good look. And I even, when I was working at Hollister, I did that all the time. Now I have, like, a little braid right here. Like, I would braid my hair, like, right here when I was growing up my bangs. <laughs> or having scrunched hair and straight bangs. Guys. And then along with the straight bangs thing was I used to cut my own bangs so I don't think I ever actually got bangs cut on me at the hairdresser ever. I only ever cut them myself so I would like 
part my hair on the side of course and had like those side angled bangs like that so I would take so much hair like way too much hair to be honest like instead of like, a little bit of wispy bangs I would take like full on like this whole area and bring it down in front and twist it because that's what I read in the magazine and cut it like that and then it would be really weird and choppy and um, it was really pretty bad. Once in a while it looked fine but I always regretted it of course because who wouldn't and also that was when I had acne all over my forehead and it would be greasy cause more acne instead of hiding the acne I had. And then of course you know one time you accidentally cut them too short and then they're up here and it looks so stupid and you just want them to grow out and every time I did it I regretted it. It was just it was genuinely so bad. Oh and then I, I don't know why I don't specifically remember a situation when this happened but I feel like I pretended I had an accent and I don't remember like I don't know why I'm remembering this but like I also can't remember a specific situation I don't know like I mean this could have been a dream but I'm pretty sure this actually happened like if you would go to like a like a soccer game or something at a, like a school a couple towns away and like this wasn't even high school this was probably like seventh eighth period where you would like pretend you're 16 or something like you'd meet someone and like act like you're a different person and give fake names and like I don't know why, I because I thought it was cool or funny, but we pretended we had accents and I can't do an accent so I don't even know. Like I wish I had a videotape of my life back during that time. Let me know if I'm making this up or if this is something people did. <laughs> but that's the last thing on my weird cringy moments list. So <laughs> let me know if you enjoyed this video. Let me know what cringy things you did or if you did any of these things. I'd love to know. And if you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more from me and I'll see you next time. Bye.